Jim Summers was my grandfather and quite possibly the greatest man I've ever known. What started out as a video finding out about his life goals ended up turning into a video about what my family thought about him and turned into me learning things about my grandfather I didn't know. I'm very honored to share this all with you. And without further ado, let us take a look at the family members of Jim Summers, my grandfather. Hi there. Hi. Uh, would you mind introducing yourself? My name is Shawnery Wharton. All right. Uh, who are you in regards to Jim Summers? I was his first daughter-in-law. Okay. Uh, what was Jim like? Wonderful. Um, loving. Hardworking. Honest. Um, wicked sense of humor. Smart. And not school smart, as you would think, like college, but uh, he had a certain... Um, I'd call it street smart, but he was just, he was a natural, I guess you can say, with a lot of things. Like a savant. Um, not quite a savant, but like, um, he used to work for home savings and loan. And I always got the impression that th this came very naturally to him. I don't know where he got his start or his beginning in savings and loan, but he was good at it. And it, I think it came very naturally for him. You know, he kind of fell in, I don't know, but I um, always got the feeling he fell into it and that was his niche. You know what I mean? So um, he enjoyed athletics and sports. So he, he knew his teams. <laughs> so um, very team oriented and uh, family oriented, oriented also. Would you say if Jim had any goals in life that you knew about? I wasn't really aware of them. I think he was um, living in his goal, so to speak. I think he had already achieved some of them by the time I met him. Um, where he wanted to be in his status in life. What, what do you think that goal that he had reached was? A, a comfort. Um, being able to do things he wanted to do. You know, if he wanted to just go golf he didn't have to worry about counting his nickels and dimes because he had already gone through that um i guess you can call it the early years the college life type of getting that you know rubbing two nickels together type of thing i think he'd already hit that by the time i met him and i met jim and um mary ann when they were in their early 50s so they had already gone through a lot of life living okay. you know so to speak i guess so they, i think they were at that he was at that stage in his life he he was hitting his goals and probably making a new list of new ones okay. were you ever aware of any uh challenges any roadblocks to either the current goal he was already living in or any of those possible new ones um he had a couple um i know that he um, was the son of divorced parents, and I'm sure that was a struggle for a little while. Um, if I remember correctly, he lost a brother at one point in life, and um, I think there was a little bit of, um, I could be wrong, but there's a lot of his mother weighing him against another sibling in his life, that comparison that you get a balance between living and dead. Um, he also, he was divorced as well and had a wife and a relationship and had to deal with child support while raising another family and a new bride and new children, so to speak. So I think that was a struggle, especially in that day and age um, where the laws were different for people with child support and children and so forth. So I think that was a struggle because 
ideally he was hoping to put one relationship behind him and move forward onto another one. And uh, it probably put some uh, strain on the new relationship when you're having to cope and deal with the old garbage all the time. So from what I understand, it wasn't always roses. <laughs> but um, I always thought he handled it well from what he you know shared. And it wasn't a lot, but he, you know, I think he, he overcame it very well, in my opinion. Thank you. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Would you mind introducing yourself for us, please? My name is Mary Ann Summers. And who are you in relation to Jim Summers? I'm his wife. Okay. How long were you two married? 49 years. 49 years. Did Jim ever have any uh, life goals? He did. He did. He wanted a wonderful family life. He wanted a good job. He wanted to be protector of his immediate family and extended family. And he wanted to enjoy life. Okay. Did he ever have any major challenges against that? Yeah. When uh, his parents got older and they both lived out of state in two different states, it was very difficult. Uh, so he did a lot of traveling back and forth until they both passed. So that was challenging. Challenging. Okay. Was there ever a time where he had to put that, that goal on hold or anything like that? Uh, well, the, the period of when he was promoted and we were scheduled to move to San Diego and we were told to be there on such and such a date. So we bought our house and did all of that. And the branch wasn't completed. So the boys and I moved down to San Diego in July and Jim was able to move in with us the following April. So it was four and a half months of driving up and back on Monday and Friday and four and a half months flying back and forth daily. So that was a challenge for all of us, but in particular for him, because we were in a new house in a new area and he was concerned. Okay. So, but it all worked out. Do you think he was successful in his life goals? Absolutely. What was he like as a person? Loving, charming, caring, observant, had a great sense of humor, and I loved him dearly. Hello there. Hi. Would you mind introducing yourself for us? Uh, my name is Eric Summers. And who are you uh, in regards to Jim Summers? Uh, he was my father. Okay. Uh, what was he like as your father? It was, uh, I mean, he was a good dad. Um, he could be tough, but he was loving. Um, he was never afraid to tell you what you needed to, to hear, not necessarily what you wanted to hear. I, I think I am who I am because of him, so. Okay. Um, would you say if he had any life goals? Absolutely. Um, I mean, one of the things that I remember hearing one time uh, was that he at one point wanted to go to medical school and be a doctor. Um, I know that that didn't happen, but um, I think overall uh, his big thing was taking care of his family and, and um, taking care of those that he loved, so. And you'd say he was successful in this? Oh yeah, absolutely. What were some of the major challenges he had in his life though? You know what, I, I think one of the, one of the things that, one of the challenges he had was just dealing with everyday life like everybody else. Uh, I mean, trying to take care of himself 
health wise and make sure that everybody else got what they needed. But I don't know. I mean, other than that, uh, it, it, he, it's not like he had a piece of cake life, but I, I think, I think uh, overall, he wouldn't have said that he had any challenges that he couldn't overcome. Even if I had the amount of time of a full featured length movie, I don't think I could properly put into words just how much I looked up to my grandfather. And I hope that this small amount of time was enough to give you guys an idea of what I thought this man was and how much I, my family cared for him. But that is all for now. I thank you for being with me. I hope you all have a good, wonderful rest of the day. Remember to hug your grandfathers if they're still around, guys.